sure that uh Okay, all right. As always, you know, we give all praise and glory to the Most High and uh, allowing us to uh, come together and, and uh, you know, in a real way to be able to bring forth the truth and righteousness. Show how we have to come together and, you know, it's the last day of this piece of the dedication. We went over how we, we got our temple back. So, now it's all about just, you know, rehearsing, rehearsing the righteous acts. So, we start out with Colossians 3 and 17. It says, and whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all by Hashem Mashiach Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to the Most High and the Father by Hashem Mashiach Yahweh Shai. So all that we say do is going to be in the name of the anointed Savior, Mashiach Yahweh Shai, which we always use, you know, that he, his Hebrew name because he spoke Hebrew. And that's something that we have to, you know, we look at because, um, a lot of people they said don't matter, but uh, it do matter when you look at um, how we as a people we spoke Hebrew as the Israelites, and then we uh, we were made to speak all these other languages that we speak now: English, Spanish, French, German, or whatever language that we speak. Portuguese, you know what I mean? Of our conquerors, they conquered us, and then here we are now. Speaking all these different languages. You know what I mean? So now, let's get uh, St. John, the 10th chapter, and we're going to show that Amashiach Kawashai, he observed this. And I'll say Amashiach Kawashai because that's the anointed Savior. His name wasn't Jesus because the J was invented in 1630 AD. You know, so his name couldn't be Jesus. Right. <laughs> we established that yeah. numerous times, you know? Yeah. Let's get St. John the 10th chapter started at the 22nd verse. St. John chapter 10 verse 22. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication. Right, this is where we at. We're in the feast of the dedication. Read. And it was winter. It was winter. Because sometimes it falls in like, you know, like it's right now, it's the end of, of uh, November, then we, you know, going into December. We in December, but sometimes it'd be winter, it'd be like, you know, fall somewhere and after, you know, the actual winter starts, mm -hmm. right? And Amasek Gosai walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to doubt? See, how long are you going to make us to doubt, right? If thou be the Mashiach. If thou be who? Hamashiach. If, you be, if he be who? Hamashiach. If he be Hamashiach. It's very important. They ain't ask you if you be Jesus. They ask him if he be who? Hamashiach. If you be Hamashiach, right? Tell us plainly. Tell us plainly. If you be the Messiah, you be the anointed, tell us plainly, right? Hamashiach Messiah answered them, I told you, and ye believe me, so and ye believe he, not. Right, so who is he saying that he is? He's letting them know that he is Mashiach. Right? right? He on. is Hamashiach. He said, I told you plainly, you believe me, right? The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. So they bear witness of him, the works that he does in his Father's name, right? But ye believe not. So they don't believe. You don't believe me, right? Because ye are not of my sheep. So those that don't believe he's a Mashiach, they're not of his sheep. That's why it's important. We always say Yahweh Shai, but this is a mystery. A Mashiach is a mystery. Yeah. You know? Go ahead. Say, you don't believe because you don't believe I'm a Hamashiach because you're not of my sheep. There's many Jesus. There's many Yahweh Shai's, you know. Huh? Right now they call him Hey Zeus. <laughs> right? So right. we know that today. Huh. Go ahead. As I said unto you, uh -huh. my sheep hear my voice. His sheep hear his voice, read. And I know them. He knows his sheep, read. And they follow me. And they're going to follow him. So if you follow in him, then you're going to speak about him. Yeah, right. You're going to stand for him. Yeah. Right, you're going to confess him. So he's going to confess you before the most high and before the angel, read. 
and I give unto them internal, eternal life. And I give to his sheep that hear his voice, which is the voice of the Most High, but he's he not speaking his own words, he's speaking the words of the Most High. He's going to give to them eternal life, read. And they shall never perish. They shall never perish, read. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So if you're about it, you're about it, about it, then you're going to be about it, Mashiach, that was shot. Ain't nobody going to be able to pluck you out of his hand, read. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than uh, than all. Right, so the most high greater than everything, read. Right? And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. That's what he said, nobody's able to pluck pluck them out of the most high's hand, read. Right? And uh, I and my Father are one. Right, they agree. Now, they're not the same. He already said the most high is greater than all. So he come back and say, I and my Father are one, meaning they're, they're in agreement. They're in agreement together, read. Right? Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Uh, what, what, it say they did what? <laughs> and then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. So they took up stones again another time <laughs> to stone him. They, they didn't try it before. Right. <laughs> they didn't try it before. They took up stones again to stone him. Read. Hamashiach said, answer them. Many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do ye stone me? Right. So why you going? Why, why you want to stone me? He said. This is at the feast of the dedication. Uh -huh. It's the only convocation. Uh -huh. You know, the first day or the last day. I mean, he's there, and they want to kill him. At a feast of the dedication that we're celebrating now. Read. Really? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou, being a man, makest thyself the most high. Right. So let's, let's stop right there. Let's go to... Uh, you know, that's the, the Pharisees and the Jews that was afraid of losing their power with the Romans, who the so-called Italian Caucasian was the superpower of the earth, and is losing their power with the people, you know. No different than these, these uh, preachers that have people under them. Mm -hmm. And you, we, we, we Mashiachia, we don't belong to no man. Right. You know, but they got people under them, and they don't, they don't, they have a, a stranglehold on them. Like you say, you talk to the people, hey, come here. They uh, all they get, they got a phrase. They take going back to the poor choppy preachers. They go, not teaching them the truth. You know what I mean? Because they don't know that they Israelites. You know what I mean? They're still Gentiles in the mind. You know what I mean? So it's wrong whenever you look at all the things how we've been disenfranchised from our heritage. So get up Exodus 22 and 28. I want to go into uh, Exodus 22 and 28. I just wanted to show you that Mashiach Abishai, he dealt with this feast, mm -hmm. you know? These are the things that we done as a people. We just rehearsed it now. Mm -hmm. Read that. Exodus chapter 22, verse 28. Thou shalt not rival, revile, revile the idols, the gods, the gods. Read. nor curse the ruler of thy people. So it says, thou shalt not revile the gods, nor curse the ruler of thy people. So. This is very important because you're looking at gods here, right? Thou shalt not revile the gods, mm -hmm. nor curse the ruler of thy people. Anyone that's over the people, that's set up over <coughs> the people, that's supposed to set up curses against them. Mm -hmm. In respect, Ecclesiastes, because in the pocket, in the uh, pocket, look at Ecclesiastes 10 and 20. The most I have ordered. And he said order, like just like he had order in, in, the, in the heavens, he got order on the earth too. Ecclesiastes 10 and 20. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 20. What page is it on? Page 76. Yeah, give the page on the, uh, in the pocket so someone can't find it, they can find it real fast. Okay, fine. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 20, page 76. Page 76. <clears throat> Among brethren, he that is chief is honorable. So are they that fear the Most High in his eyes. Right. So it say, among brethren, he that is chief, you know, there's somebody that's got to be in charge, mm -hmm. is honorable. So are they that fear the Most High in his eyes. Read. The fear of the Most High goeth before the obtaining of authority. Right. So the fear of the Most High goeth before the obtaining of authority. Read. But roughness and pride is the losing thereof. Right. Roughness and pride is the losing thereof of this authority. You're not gonna, mm -hmm. you're not gonna maintain it in the eyes of the Most High, no matter how man thinks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why he wants you to be humble. As we went over about Ezra, right? Mm -hmm. Whether he be rich, noble, or poor, 
Their glory is the fear of the Most High. Right. Whether you be rich, noble, or poor, their glory is the fear of the Most High. Me? It is not me to despise the poor man that had understanding. Right. It is not right. Me means right. It is not right to despise the poor man that had understanding. Me? Neither is it convenient to magnify a sinful man. Yes. Ne neither is it convenient to magnify a sinful man, man that you know sin. Mm -hmm. But Israel don't care. It's like, oh, let's look over here, see what's going on here. But if they sin for it, it's not right to exalt a sinful man. Um, give me uh, Psalms 82 and 6. Psalm 82 and 6. Psalm chapter 82, <clears throat> verse 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Right. You say, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Psalm 82 and 6. Read. <laughs> but ye shall die like men. And fall like one of the princes. Right, say we're gonna die like men and fall like one of the princes. But he said we are gods. Now, give me uh, John the tenth chapter and read verse thirty-four. John the tenth chapter, verse thirty-four. John chapter ten, verse thirty-four. Right, John ten or oh, wait a minute. John ten and thirty-four. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. John the tenth chapter thirty fourth verse because Mashiach Yahshai is going to give us some understanding with what's being said there in Psalm eighty two and six. Uh, read that. Hamashiach Yahshai answered them, "Is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods." Wait a minute. Read it again. Hamashiach Yahshai answered them, "Is it not written in your law? I said." Ye are gods. So who said ye are gods? <laughs> Mashiach <Mashiyaki> Yahushai <laughs> said what? What did he say? Read is it again. not? Is it not written in your law? I said ye are gods. You gotta hear what he said. <laughs> he said it's not written in your law. I said ye are gods, right? <laughs> Read. <laughs> if he called them gods. If he called them gods. Now it's not, what is it, how, do you understand the connection here? Mm -hmm. If he called them gods, yeah, even though Mashiach Yahushai said, I called you gods, mm -hmm. right? Okay. If he, who is who? Who did he? The Most High called them gods, read. Unto whom the word of the Most High came. Who the word, who the word of the Most High come to? Mm -hmm. to? To Israel, read. And the scripture cannot be broken. Right, so who the word, who the word come to? Psalms 147, 19 and 20. This is sure they ain't talking about everybody. Can't be talking about everyone. Because well, who the word came, read that. Psalm chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the most high. That's right. He showed his word to Jacob, our forefathers. Forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. His statutes and his judgment unto Israel. So he have not dealt so with any other nation. He ain't dealt so with any other nation. As for his judgment, they have not known it. So the nations have not known the judgment of the most high. You know, that's why when you read the Bible, we're going to captivity after captivity after captivity after captivity on all nations. Here we are now, the last captain that we got to serve. We got that. We got that. Most High will, you know. But we know that through the Most High, Mashiach, Yahushua, and Israel, we have next. Acts, the 23rd chapter, and the 5th verse. Acts 23 and 5. Acts chapter 23, verse 5. Then said Paul, I was not, brethren, that he was the high priest, for it is written, Thou shalt not speak evil of the ruler of thy people. So that's a, just to give you an understanding of what, what we read when we read in Exodus the 22, 22nd chapter. Go back there and read that again. 22, and it still applies 
to the brethren, even in the New Testament. Because he's got all they had was what the law and the prophets. They didn't have a New Testament, so they got to go by what was written in the Old Testament. We'll read that. Exodus. 22 and 28. Right. Exodus chapter 22, verse 28. Thou shalt revile, shall not, shall not revile the gods, nor curse the ruler of thy people. Right. So, he said, you know that, you know, you understand the gods meaning they have, that means power, Allah, means power. You know, those that have the power, you're not supposed to revile them or curse the ruler of the people. That's why you come back to Acts 23 and 5, he's saying this. But, but but read uh, uh shut up first uh let's go back to one let's listen get the whole story of it read it Acts chapter twenty three verse one right and Paul earnestly beholding the council said men and brethren I have lived in